I grew up close to railroad tracks, and so if I get to sleep, I don't hear anything. But you get accustomed to it. You could say that Mike Coker is a man of many faces. Pastor of the church I grew up in built a grandfather clock from us, and that's where it started. A collection you can see and hear that has grown through the tick-tock of time. And then we started accumulating clocks through garage sales and auctions and word of mouth. His home is filled with over 100 clocks, including this rare one from the 1800s, made by the clockmaker to the king. It's a very heavy brass clock made like a carriage clock. It has no pendulum, so it can be carried with you on a wagon or a carriage and not affect the time. Clocks were created to not only tell time, but were also a work of art. French, German, and, and Swiss have some of the most high precision clocks. One of the most unusual is this Atmos clock. It runs off the changes in atmospheric pressure, so you never have to wind it. Mike retired after 32 years with the Dallas Police Department. He now spends his free time in his repair shop, learning the intricate workings of what's behind the clock face. This particular model is a spring-driven. There are two rows of gears that uh, one operates the time, the other operates the strike. While many people today use quartz clocks that are assembly line made, Mike appreciates these antiques. I can be out in the shop and I'll think it's eight or nine o'clock and it's midnight. I, I just lose track of the time and I may have 50 clocks around me, but I don't pay attention to any of them except the one I'm working on. When I finish a clock and put it on the stand at the end of the day, I can't wait till the next morning to come out and make sure it's still running. The time changes twice a year. For most of us, just a few clocks to spring forward or fall back. But for the Coker family, They've got over 100 of these to reset, and that takes a lot of time. Enough to drive someone. The ones in the house, my wife keeps them wound, and she does all the time changes. A collection he plans to keep devoting time to. Well, there are always clocks that I want, but now I have so many, I have to get rid of some before I add any more. I don't have room for them. For CBS 19, I'm J.B. Smith. And that's my story.